Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to get extra storage on your Windows 10 PC. The reason why you might want extra storage is so you can fit more games, but also if you have more storage available, your computer will run faster. Now, we're going to get started with the obvious, which would be the recycling bin. The recycling bin is pretty much where everything you delete gets put. However, if you don't empty it regularly, it'll uh, build up. So you just right click, empty recycle bin, show you want to permanently delete this file. So I've only got one file in there, but I had previously had like 43, I think. So just press yes. Um, if you double click, you can go through and have a look at every single item. However, we're not going to do that. Um, next, we're going to go through to the very bottom here. In search, we're going to type disk. Clean up. So it's popped up here for me. Otherwise, that's how you spell it. Click on that and select the drive. So I've got a external hard drive, which is Elements, but C drive is my main drive. So I'm going to press OK. Now this is going to go through and delete every temporary file. So like internet files that are not really necessary to fast performance. It's just going to remove. So. You can view the files, but it's probably easier to just clean up. And so we've saved ourselves 229 megabytes, which is pretty decent, but considering how big my hard drive is, it's a little insignificant. However, if you have a smaller hard drive, obviously this would be monumental. And we're just going to give that a minute to go through. Other things you could possibly do. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've gained that. Okay. Delete files. Uh, it's, while it's deleting that, we'll talk through. Um, another suggestion is buying a portable hard drive. Now, when you're buying a portable hard drive, you've got to decide whether you want a HDD drive, which essentially is a lot slower, but can hold a lot more storage. So it's sort of the cheaper option. Um, roughly $70 will get you one terabyte. I have one of those. Um, and then your main hard drive for your computer, you want that to be an SSD. So they're a solid state drive. Now they're extremely fast and they're good for playing games on, but mainly the uh, load time is dramatically like instant in comparison to the other drive. Um, so you'd put like things like movies, photos and all that crap on your elements or your um, external hard drive and your main games and your main programs you'd put on your SSD. Alright, moving on to the last thing, right click on start button down here, find control panel, go to uninstall a program. Now here you want to order by size, so you just click that. And so my top one is a camera program for my webcam. However, yours might be a different program. You can go through here and figure out which ones are taking up the most amount of space. Then all you do is you click on it, click uninstall slash change. It'll go through an uninstall uh, program. And you just click next, next, agree, finish, and generally That'll be it. it. May take a couple of minutes and then I'll remove it. Now, one last thing, which is a big game changer, is a portable drive in the sky, so in the cloud. Uh, you want to type in down the bottom here one and then drive. So, you want to go to the store for this one. So, click on that. Install free and pretty much this will store all your information that you want to put on it um, I think it gives you around 5 gig don't quote me on it but you can store those files on there and then access it from any other device so you can access it from your Xbox PC mobile you have a HoloLens or from the hub now while it's downloading um, pretty much you'd want to put like work files on here or school files 
That way you don't need to bring a USB around. Wouldn't put games on there unless you're not intending on playing the games or just using it as a transportation tool. Alright, so we're going to press launch. Alright, if you want to edit them while you're on the go, let friends and colleagues. So other people can access your OneDrive if you allow them to. Alright, start using OneDrive. Alright, so, give this a second. Uh, I've already got a couple files up here. But essentially, alright, so by the looks of things, it's 5 gig that you can store on here. So that's roughly like 2 or 3 movies, or a whole bunch of music, or a whole bunch of photos, or a lot of work files. So I'd highly recommend using this mainly for school projects and work related um, items. And if you give other people access to it, they can help you surf. School assignments, work, assi work assignments where it's group related, that would definitely help. Alright, I hope you guys like this video. Um, gonna make more content, definitely. Um, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if this helped. See ya.